Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to combine AND with OR statement in Power BI. So I have a sample data set over here of the survey conducted from the members of the Stack Overflow. And the first column is the respondent ID. The second column here identifies whether the particular person is a student or not. And the third column here is hobby, whether the person responding or answering to queries on Stack Overflow is part of his hobby or not. The next field here is open source, whether it is yes or a no. And the next column is employment. There are multiple fields under employment. As you can see, we have employed full time, employed part time, looking for work and then not employed and not looking for work. So with this data set that I have over here, I want to identify employees who I can potentially hire in my organization. So I have a few conditions where I want to first fulfill and then probably reach out to the candidate to schedule an interview. So the first criteria that I have over here is that the respondent should not be a student and he should be doing this as an hobby and the open source needs to be yes and the employment can either be that he is employed part time or he is looking for work. There is a mix of and as well as the or statement over here in the case of student, hobby and open source where it says whether it's an S or a no, I will have to use an AND statement and in the employment column since there are multiple values that I need to look at for example employed part time and looking for work I will have to use an OR statement over here. So let's see how we can combine both of this. So let's get started with this tutorial. I'm going to add a new column here called as status is equals to I'm going to say if my student is equals to yes and then I'm going to say I need an AND statement. So the way we write in Power BI is that I will type in ampersand twice over here that becomes an AND statement and then I'm going to say hobby is equals to yes. Let me just bring this to the next line. Okay and then I'm going to say ampersand twice again. Let me just close the quote over here. So this becomes my AND statement and open source is equals to yes. I made a mistake over here. This needs to be no and not yes. And I'm for saying twice. And then I'm going to say employment is equals to my first condition over here, employed part time. I'm going to close the quotes over here. Before we proceed to the OR statement, let's first get the AND statement sorted. So now I'm going to say comma result if true. What if the result is true? Schedule. If the result is false, then it needs to say ignore. All right. I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter. Now let's go to the data view to check if this is working. So let's go to the status column over here and select schedule and click on OK. And now if you look at the columns over here, my hobby is yes, my open source is yes, student is no and my employment here says employed part time. All of these over here is classified as schedule. Now we need to make a change here to accommodate looking for work as well within this statement over here. So we use double ampersand over here to declare an AND statement. Now to declare an OR statement, we need to enter the vertical bar twice. This is available just above the enter key on your Windows keyboard. And now you can say employment is equals to looking for work. Close the quotes and we have the comma here anyways and then now I'm going to click on OK. Now let's go back to the data view to check if this is working. So let's go to status column and filter on schedule and under the employment column over here you will see that employed part time and looking for work both are appearing over here. But wait look at the open source column over here you are also seeing a no here wherein we only told that open source needs to be yes. And the hobby column also is displaying no as well, wherein we only wanted this to be an S. What went wrong over here? The reason why this is behaving like this is because we missed the parenthesis. 
So Power BI needs to know that these two conditions over here are part of one statement and not multiple statements. So Power BI is right now looking at the student column and it's saying no, hobby is equals to yes, open source is equals to yes and considering the employment as either employed part time or looking for work. Now in this case we need to tell Power BI that you need to treat this particular statement separately. To do that we need to add parenthesis over here. Let me just increase the font size. You need to add a parenthesis to the or statement over here. I'm going to add parenthesis over here just for the or statement and then press enter. And now when we look at the scheduled column, you will see that our hobby is only yes, our open source is only yes and our student column is no as expected. And now we can go back and add this particular column to our table over here and now we can also filter here based on that particular column and look at the only those respondents who we want to schedule an interview with. So this is how you can combine the AND and OR statement within Power BI. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.